All right, getting ready to take the seat top cover off. Uh, we pulled the bottom off already uh, for a, a different video. If you want to see how to, the uh, bottom disassembly goes, we have a video on that. It's probably going to be in the playlist below. If not, uh, we can definitely send you a link for it, but we have the video for the bottom as well. So to strip the top, it's pretty simple. There's going to be one long clip around, on the underneath side along the back. We're going to undo, and then we're going to start to roll the cover inside out, pulling it straight up off the cover, off the foam. So we're going to take our flathead or pry tool up underneath here. So right, right along the bottom seam here, there's two plastic clips that kind of just interlock like this to one another. So we just need to go there and pry those apart is all we got to do. So but that's what we'll have our flathead for. Get up in there and undo them. So here's our one clip here, the other clip is right underneath there. So with those undone, we'll start to we'll pull the clip out from the front, just pulling it out like this. And then just start at one corner. A lot of times I'll do this with it on the ground so I can stand over it and roll it up. I'm just gonna turn it and start turning it inside out like that. But we'll kind of just go back and forth, hinge it up each way. Now oh, we got our lumbar knob. I forgot about that sucker. Okay, so the lumbar knob, this thing just pops off. There's no uh, screw or pin or connection inside of there. There's a big base plate that goes behind the wheel that spins. That's going to stay on the frame, but this guy here will pop off. So I'm just going to take a my pry tool and just wedge in between and just rock it back and forth there. That popped off. So um, you can unscrew this if you wanted to, but there's no real need to. There's a big cutout on the on the side panel of the cover. Uh, this will it'll stretch around this plastic piece. So I'm gonna take my pry tool and just kind of work it around. There we go. So that's on the outside of it now, so we can start rolling this side up. Okay, now that we get it started a little bit, we need to detach our Velcro on the, from the cover to the foam so we can keep rolling it up. So these two vertical seams have Velcro underneath it. For some reason, they don't put Velcro on the bottom part of that cover uh, going across here, but we're gonna lay this back put our hand up underneath, through, underneath here and start to unseat the Velcro all the way up and then we can keep rolling our cover off the foam. When we get to the top, we have our two uh, headrest posts, little guide rails to go through. I'll show you how those come off. So here at the very back, with the cover up, you can see the post coming through the frame. I'm gonna get a little better close up of that for you guys so you know how to get those out. So here we are with the headrest post. So you can see this black stump coming through here and here. There's clips on both sides that push in. It's right there, we'll push in. Let me get a uh, pry tool and show you a little better. You can see right there, this will push in. And there's another one just on the other side as well that'll push in. So push up this at the same time, and then you can push the tube straight up. Or you can grab from the very top um, of the foam and pull up on it. But as long as these uh, two releases are squeezed in on either side, then the tube will come straight up. 
See, both sides have those. Okay, so for the headrest tubes, here's the black tube that comes down through the frame. At the bottom, you can see a catch right here and here. These will push in, one on each side. And with those pushed in, then that tube can, uh, will release and go straight up to the frame. You can either try to push it from the bottom, but it may get a little tricky because there's not much room, not much room to work with because you're going to be trying to pinch this. So usually you can pinch these together with a pair of needle nose like this, pinch it here, then with the other hand on the top, you can pull up on it and get it to come out. So both, both headrest tubes have the same uh, type catch at the very bottom, just these two little pieces that pinch in, and that's, that's all you need to be able to pull the, the uh, headrest piece straight up. Okay, so let's grab those two tubes. Here they are. So one tube has the button on the side. You can see the little button you can push in to release it. One tube does not have that. Uh, you can also see on the headrest frame itself, only one of the silver bars has notches in it. So the ones that had the side that has the notches in it is going to be the one that, that takes the, the one with the button. So this one happens to be towards the door. This is a driver's seat. The part with the, the button, the one with the button goes on the left side of the seat closest to the door. So you don't want to put these back in yet because you're going to want to uh, have these clear when we're doing the install on the seat top cover. Um, but that's when you put them back in, just know the one on the button goes towards the door, driver door. Okay, so not much to disassembly pretty easy to take these uh, the top cover off there's not too much involved in it um, coming up next we're gonna go ahead and steam out the foam and then we're going to install the new seat cover okay first step on the top is to steam out the foam I'm gonna grab the steamer real quick and get going on it If you guys hadn't watched the bottom video, we go over the steam as well, but uh, if you're just seeing the top video, what the steam does is it helps puff the foam back out, uh, get it closest back to its, its original shape and size, because uh, it'll, it'll swell the foam back up uh, with that steam penetrating through it. So just going up real, slower with it, real slowly with a steamer, letting that steam really penetrate down into the foam and let it swell back up. That way when we put the new cover on, uh, the foam is, is uh, a whole lot bigger than, than it was before when it was all mashed down. It just swells it back up. That way it keeps, uh, lets the new cover, it's going to fit nice and tight and not have a bunch of ripples and wrinkles and all that jazz in it. So it can take a little time to just go through this whole foam inch by inch and steam everything out. Get it back as close as it was when it was new. <laughs> Set the seam to the side. Now, if you don't have a regular, you know, a big steamer like that, it'd be kind of odd for normal, you know, regular household to have a big steamer like that. Twenty bucks, Amazon, little little hand steamer, garment steamer. The thing's pretty easy to use. It takes about two minutes to heat up, which is why I really like this. Yeah, uh, you can probably fill it up. Um, you know, your first fill, steam through it and then fill it up again to probably get you enough to do the top and the bottom foam. But the steam makes a really, really, really big difference uh, having the steam to steam out the cushion before you put the cover on so it's swelled back up. The foam's going to be in, in the right shape and size. Uh, get a steamer. It's really cheap, and it makes a massive difference on your install. So 20 bucks, Amazon, pick you one up. Okay, seat cover. Now, before I would normally put the cover on this, I want to take my air compressor and you know dry it out, blow all the, make sure all the, the moisture's out of it, that the the foam is cooled back down. It's not hot still because uh, it's going to be real soft and, and and pliable when it's when it's hot from the steam. So let it cool down and get it dried out. 
before you put the, the new cover on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the new cover, but normally I would, I would dry all this stuff out and uh, make sure it's nice and firm before I, I put the new cover on. Let's snag it real quick. So here is our new cover that's going to be going on it. It's a little bit different because the top has the suede insert in the center. Um, everything's pretty good to go here. If you, when you pulled it off, if you happen to uh, pull any of the Velcro off, go ahead and glue it back down with a spray adhesive. Let that set up real good. Uh, so when, if you, when it gets some tension on it, that it won't pull back off again. Um, but all the Velcro looks good here. We're going to go ahead and set the, uh, the cover on it. So the first step is going to be to turn this cover inside out. Okay, now we're inside out. Now you're gonna to wanna to put the seat frame on the ground so you can be standing over top of the frame and roll it down, straight down over it. Uh, so I'm gonna adjust some stuff here, get this frame down on the floor where I can stand over it and uh, line everything up and start rolling the cover on. Okay, now we got the frame on the ground uh, so we can stand over it to be able to roll the cover down on it. So I'm gonna grab the cover here. A lot of times I'll start with it turned inside out um, first you want to trim out some of the holes. So it already has going to have the holes for the headrest uh, here that's going to be cut in the leather. Uh, but underneath there, there's foam, uh, the quarter inch foam that's sewn underneath this strip um, that you'll need to trim that out. So it's going to be a whole lot easier when you're starting to roll this down if you can see through the headrest holes to make sure you're lined up on the, uh, the stumps, uh, the guide rails here in the, in the frame. So um, also we want to trim out this is the side where the lumbar knob goes on. Again, the holes are cut already in the leather, but on the underneath side, there's foam that's there. I've already trimmed that piece out, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut that before you roll the cover down. So I'm gonna turn, go ahead and turn it inside out, grab a pair of scissors. And to find where the holes are, just stick your finger, your hand up underneath the cover and find you know, the first headrest hole. There we go. And then you can just push your finger through it. Now, like I said, I've already trimmed this. I've already trimmed the, uh, the foam on the back side, but just push through with your finger. That way you'll see where it's coming through on the foam. And then take your scissors and carefully trim uh, the foam. So make sure you're not cutting the leather underneath but uh, trim a hole in the foam there. Do the same thing over here. Just, you don't need a, a ton cut out, but uh, just enough that you can see through the cover to see those. And do the same thing on the side here. You can obviously feel this big hole uh, and just trim out a hole in your foam before we roll this down. It's gonna make it a whole lot easier. So we're gonna, with the inside out, we're gonna lay it on top here. Since we got our holes cut, we can see through the cover and we're gonna line up our holes here and here. That looks pretty good. See down through both of them. Put my hands on one on each corner and start to roll it down. Roll it, don't roll it all the way down first, just roll it about four or five inches or so. Um, that's maybe eight inches, so it's on. Double check that your holes are still uh, lined up directly over the, uh, the holes in the frame. That looks pretty good. And we're just gonna keep rolling it down. We're going to get the cover completely rolled down and then we're going to come back and set our Velcro. Okay, that's all the way down. Holes are still lined up. That's looking good. Let's throw it back up here on the workbench and we'll start working on our Velcro. All right, frame is back up on the table. The cover's just rolled on. It's not attached yet with the Velcro. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and attach the Velcro this way uh, with it completely rolled on versus attaching it as we are rolling it down. Um, it's, it, this, one, this cover is just a little bit easier this way. So what I'm gonna do, everything looks smooth. So we're gonna, once we have it here, we can double check, look back. Everything looks pretty even. Um, 
it's set straight. Everything looks pretty good there. Our holes are still lining up dead on on the top, looking down through the headrest holes. So I'm going to lay this flat. I'm going to come up from the underneath side. I want to make sure none of the Velcro is hooked yet. So you can come up through here. Okay, it's all detached. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just roll, just kind of slide my hands here, roll around to the seam and push down straight into the foam right there. I'll work my way all the way down. Just like that. Let's do the other side. Okay. There we go. That looks nice. Headers holes are still lined up nice. The next thing to do is to fold this plastic J clip here. This bar is going to turn roll like this and we're just going to stuff in between the seat in between the the top and the bottom when we go through that slit so we're going to start to one hand from the back side and this side get that clip rolled and start to feed it through Set the seat recline a little bit forward. Okay, that's pulled through nice. You can see everything's nice and smooth across there. Nothing puckered up, no wrinkles in the bottom here. So we know that we got the, the plastic J clip all the way through. Let's get to the back side. Well, on the sides here, we got, you'll see these little leather flaps on the side. These will wrap around underneath. This is what just covers up any of the yellow foam on the side. So these just, these little wings just kind of tuck up in to the seat here. That's what they are. Nothing real specific, just fold them and wrap them up underneath. Same thing on this side. Okay, there we go. So now this clip is going to feed through here and clip on to the clip that we just stuffed between the seat top and bottom. So let's tilt this forward a little bit. And here's the clip. There's not just a ton of slack on this guy here, but this is the clip. This clip's gonna roll. This one's gonna go like this and push down through and clip on. These are two uh, J clips that are just hooked like this and they, they interlock like that. So that's how they lock. So there's not a lot of slack on this. What I want to do is just, but we got some slack here. We're going to roll this and just push it through and then try to pull back on it and see if it sets into that groove. It's a little tricky because there's not much room. Let's get these little flaps. There's a couple of little cloth flaps that stick back up in. There we go. There it goes. Okay, that hook, you heard it snap in place. That's hooked there. I'll wipe this off from laying it on the table. So there is our top put on. Now we got to go through and put the headrest uh, uh, guide rails in there and uh, our side lumbar knob. So let's turn this around, lay this guy down. Let's see if yeah, you can see this. Okay. Headrest tubes. Okay, two tubes. One side has a button. See the button there? One side, no button. 
So the headrest, on the actual headrest, the pole on the left has a couple different notches for the settings for height. That's the one that's gonna have the button on it. So the button faces, this is the driver's seat, the button faces the driver door. So this just will slide right through here and push into place. There's that one. Next one. This one can go, let's see, this way. There we go. That pops into place. That all looks good. Our headrest can go back in there now. Okay, here's our side. So here's our lumbar knob. This had the foam behind the leather that, remember, we pre trimmed out before when we had the cover uh, um, before we turned it inside out. So we got that trimmed out. Here is our lumbar wheel. This thing just snaps onto it. There's no clips or screws or anything like that. It just pushes on and locks into place. Oh, sorry. We need to tuck the leather around this plastic side piece. So we'll just start at one end and kind of stretch it around like that to fit back around this plastic bezel. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Now our plastic piece will go on. Line up in the middle and just pop it on. Here we go. Now your lumbar is good to go. So there is our top and bottom install for Dodge Ram 2004, 2005. Uh, the same process for the base model with vinyl, uh, cloth, STs, SLTs, and all the way up to the uh, Laramie package. So this will do all those. Uh, if you have the cloth stuff, you won't be trimming holes on the side of the seat for the control panel, because it's manual. But if you have the full power and everything, this shows you how to do that as well. You just get to omit those steps if you have a vinyl or a, or a manual seat. But this is everything to do for the Dodge Ram. Pretty straightforward. If you got any questions uh, on other installations or any other pickup trucks, uh, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, some Toyota, uh, give us a call, 214-710-2565. Check out our, our website, theseatshop.com. We've got videos on all kinds of stuff, not just installs, a lot of quick tips, how to repair certain things. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Uh, if you got any questions or you need some help on your interior, give us a call. We'd like to help you get your truck looking good again.